From Swiss Watch Expo, Spotlight on, the Rolex GMT Master, and GMT Master 2, knowing the difference. It is said that Rolex watches, practice evolution, rather than revolution, with very strong, but classic visual identities, the look of Rolex watches, have rarely been changed drastically. In fact, one has to develop a keen eye, and some technical knowledge, to know the difference between models. Such is the case, with the GMT Master, and GMT Master II. With a timeless design right from the start, all it needed were technological upgrades, over the decades. Here's what sets the two watches apart. Let's take a step back, to the beginnings of the GMT Master, whose history is pretty well known. In the 1950s, long-haul and transatlantic flights, became possible and more commonplace. This development made the world smaller, but presented a problem for pilots. That, of jet lag. Not knowing the time zone back home, and staying in a place hours behind, or ahead, wreaked havoc on their circadian rhythms. Pan American Airways thought, that the solution was a watch, that displayed two time zones at once. This way, pilots can monitor their home time zone, while also knowing the time and their destination. They commissioned Rolex to create one, and in 1954, the Rolex GMT Master was launched. It came with a 24-hour hand and mark bezel, to display a second time zone, along with a traditional, hour and minute hands, to display the home time zone. Since 1954, there have been many iterations, of the GMT Master, and GMT Master II. Each line has four generations to date. GMT Master, came in the inaugural reference 6542, reference 1675 and 1675X, and reference 16700. Bezel colors varied from blue-red, brown-gold, all-black, and even the very rare, all blue. In 1982, Rolex launched the GMT Master II, whose references are the 16760, 16710, 11671, and 12671. The GMT Master II, eventually replaced the GMT Master in 1999, but there was an overlap between the two models, for about 17 years. The two editions look almost the same, and their main difference actually lies, inside the watch. The GMT Master, was designed to display time, in two time zones, with a 24-hour hand telling the second time zone, and the bezel as reference. The GMT Master II, meanwhile, can display three separate time zones. Rolex was able to do this, by making the 24-hour hand, that's the red hand with a narrow, independent from the hour, and minute hands. While the center hour and minute hands, tell home time, the 24-hour hand, can be moved freely on the dial, and read with the 24-hour bezel, to show another time zone. Rotating the bezel in either direction, allows for the reading, of a third time zone. This feature of the GMT Master II, called for an updated movement, and in order to accommodate it within the watch, the GMT Master II, also had to be thicker. This is the only real, visible difference, between the two watches, aside from very minor tweaks, over the years. The main appeal of the GMT Master, 
is in its bezel, and the materials used for it, have also changed over the years. Very early models, made use of the baked light bezels, of plastic made from synthetic components. These were prone to cracking, so Rolex changed the material to aluminum, beginning 1956. Beginning 2007, Rolex began fitting the GMT Master II, with their patented, Cerachrom bezels. Made from extremely hard ceramic material, the Cerachrom is virtually scratch-proof, and fade-proof. With a 65-year history, the GMT Master, and GMT Master II, remain the most popular watches of Rolex. Its classic looks and practical function, ensures that it will still be around, for decades to come. Want to learn more about Rolex watches? Click on the upper right side of the screen, for our All About Rolex playlist. Don't miss out! We release two videos weekly, on the best and the latest in watches. To get your weekly dose of watch news, subscribe to our YouTube channel.